the Patriots cheated. The New England Patriots, technically, by the book, they cheated. I acknowledge that. It's very important. Uh, they had a camera guy film something that he was not supposed to film. Now, here's the story we are told about this incident and what happened behind the scenes. We're told that, and I, I do believe it, the Patriots were filming a documentary for their series, Do Your Job. It's a real thing. You can look it up on YouTube. And uh, Do Your Job is where the New England Patriots television production team tells stories about people who work within the organization. It's a documentary-style series. Now, the Patriots employee, the cameraman, filmed an eight-minute video of the Bengals sideline. And I know, when you hear that, you go, Zach, that's horrible. You, you film the Bengals sideline? That's, it's pretty, you know, that's pretty clear. Hey, that's awful. And to make matters worse, when a Bengal security staff member confronted the cameraman, the Patriots employee, the guy quickly backtracked. He said, hey, oh, oh well, uh, I can delete this right away. Because the guy seemed like he knew he was pushing a boundary. That's, again, looks awful optically. The cameraman was supposed to be pointing his camera at a human being who was in the booth next to him, the guy who was you know, working on uh, the, the, the guy who was featured in the documentary piece, the Do Your Job piece. The cameraman was not supposed to be pointing his camera at the sideline. The cameraman was wrong. So technically, yes, I acknowledge, it's very important to say this, the Patriots cheated. Absolutely. Yes. 100%. But the train of thought and the train of reasoning I'm about to share with you, um, I, I think it's going to make you very mad if you hate the Patriots. If you do, I think you, you're you not going to listen. But I, I ask you to listen to this and, and be very, just have an open mind. My job is to be fair um, and do the best I can. And a lot of people have shared their thoughts about this Patriots cheating scandal. And all those people are football people. I have a very unique perspective on this topic because not only am I a football guy, I'm a former cameraman. One, I'm a football guy. I played college football. I know a lot of people. I have a lot of contacts throughout the NFL and throughout college football. I know people who work in front offices in the NFL. It's a huge advantage I have over a lot of people that talk about sports. But number two, here's the special part. I'm also a former cameraman. I mean, I literally operated a camera for a documentary, which is exactly what we're discussing here, is operating a camera for a documentary. I work for Tap Out Films. I've worked for ESPN. Um, I've, worked for, I've operated a camera for television networks. I've also been a cameraman's assistant. I've been a cameraman. I've been around cameramen. I've worked for ESPN's College Game Day. I've worked for Pac-12 Network. I've worked for Fox Sports. You name it. I've done a lot of camera work in the sports world. And so because I have both a background on you know, working as a cameraman and have a background in football and know the game of football, uh, I believe I have a unique perspective on this, and I don't believe that this was an organized effort by the Patriots to cheat. I don't. Um, and let me explain why I believe this is more likely a, an eager, aggressive cameraman than it was an organized effort by the Patriots to cheat. Number one, I think people don't understand the way the NFL works. This is what people in the NFL have told me uh, is important. There's a lack of understanding with how the NFL works. The Patriots would not ask a cameraman to film the sideline because absolutely, it's actually not helpful. People don't realize this. Filming people on the sideline doesn't help you get signals or win football games because here's the issue. <laughs> this is a really thing that, you know, important thing people understand. Hand signals are not widely used in the NFL to communicate with people on the field. The NFL is not high school football. The NFL is not college football. If your only interaction with football growing up was college or high school football, you would not understand this because in high school football and in college football, oh, people use hand signals to call plays and to communicate from the sideline to people on the field. That is not how it works in the NFL. In the NFL, plays are called to people on the field through a headset. The coaches have a headset on. They call the play through a microphone. That goes directly into the helmet of people on the field. Then the quarterback or the guy on defense who has that helmet that can hear the coach, he calls the play verbally to the people around him. So hand signals are not widely used in the NFL to communicate with people on the sideline. So filming the sideline in the NFL doesn't give you more information than normal. If you did it in college, it would help. If you filmed the sideline in college where people, there is no headset, and you have to use hand signals to communicate plays, it would work. It would make sense. Or if you filmed hand signals in high school football, that makes a huge impact on the game. But in the NFL, where hand signals are not widely used, it doesn't matter. I literally watched an NFL game in person last Sunday. They don't use hand signals to communicate with people on the field. That's not how the NFL works. And so 
Um, <laughs> I just, it, it's very important. You got to understand that. An NFL team would not say, hey, film those hand signals because that's not how the NFL works today. No longer anymore. They use technology rather than hand signals. Now let's talk about that cameraman. That cameraman is an idiot. There are two possibilities here. Either number one, the, you know, maybe, maybe that cameraman had limited exposure to football. He played high school football. And uh, he must have thought, hey, maybe if I film the sideline, I could get a special reward and go, hey, hey, Belichick, guess what? I filmed the sideline of the Bengals, and now you have sideline footage. Maybe that's what happened. And it would make sense because if, if he has a limited understanding of football and doesn't understand that hand signals are not used, and he's a cameraman, he'd go, hey, this is valuable. But this is more likely. Here's what really happened. I believe that this cameraman is an idiot because he filmed something he was not supposed to film. That's a big deal. You can't do that. It's a no-no. But there's a thing in the world of videography and filming and photography called B-roll. You got to understand what B-roll is. B-roll is supplemental or alternative footage that you use to intercut a main with the main shot when you are editing footage together. So if you've ever worked in video or if you've ever edited video before, you know, hey, if I want to hide a cut. So if I, Zach Schaumler, I'm talking to you and I make a mistake and you want to hide that mistake, you would cut away to B-roll so that when I skip ahead and cut out words I didn't say or whatever, you don't even notice a difference because currently your mind is being distracted by, oh, we're looking at film of the sideline, for example. When you're editing footage, you cut to B-roll so that things look smoother when you cut things out. A good cameraman, I was once a cameraman, a good cameraman is always looking for as much footage as possible, especially when you're shooting a documentary where usually it's a lot of voiceover, a lot of people talking to a camera. You want to hide those cuts with B-roll footage. You want to shoot artistic camera footage to cut to in order to hide edits. Now, that cameraman was not a member of the Patriots football division. That cameraman was a member of the Patriots television department, which is a different, separate division of the New England Patriots, completely separate from the football division. There's a television department. Every team has one. And then there's, oh, guess what? The football department. They're not related at all. They're, they're different bosses. And that's why when the security guy for the Bengals confronted that cameraman, the cameraman was willing to delete it because he knows I'm not that attached to it. I have a lot of B-roll footage. If I delete this, I've got other stuff I can use to cut to when I'm doing an editing this documentary style footage. He wasn't attached to the footage. I do not believe that the cameraman was filming the sideline to try to help the Patriots win games. I know how that sounds. I know people are like, suck, what the heck? But you got to understand. From a cameraman's perspective, he was collecting as much footage as possible to make the video editing process easier. So technically, yes, the Patriots broke a rule. Therefore, they cheated. I acknowledge the Patriots on paper. That's cheating. Absolutely, yes. But filming the sideline didn't actually give them an advantage in the game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Because, oh yeah, hand signals aren't used in the NFL. People use headsets to talk to the guy on the field. Filming a sideline where there's no hand signals taking place is completely invaluable. It doesn't, it doesn't help you at all. I guess it's completely not valuable. It doesn't help you at all. And if you understand the video editing process, if you're a former cameraman, which I am, which I also want to really be very clear. People that talk about the NFL on television are former football players. People who, you know, Troy Polamalu, Tom Brady, people who have played in the NFL have probably never operated a camera for a television network. I've actually done that job. <laughs> people that talk about football mostly have never done that. I might be the only person in America talking about football who has experience operating a camera for television networks because I've been on both sides of the camera. People who operate a camera understand they need to gather as much footage as possible to make the editing process easier. That, to me, is the story behind this quote-unquote Patriots cheating scandal. The footage wouldn't have been helpful. Really, I truly believe this was an over-eager cameraman trying to make his job editing a video in the future easier by collecting as much B-roll as possible. you got to understand, this is, there's a reason. I don't think the NFL is going to punish the Patriots heavily for this. It's really not a big deal the way people are treating it. Yes, the Patriots technically cheated. They filmed something they shouldn't have cheated. They're going to get punished on some degree on some level. But this wouldn't have helped the Patriots. And really, I think it was an overzealous, overly aggressive cameraman shooting B-roll footage.